written script. I just have to do it the way that it comes in my heart uh, to do. As long as I can stick with what the word says, then it's uh, it's all right, I believe, with the Lord. Now, I just want to talk to you as a friend. That, those are significant. That's a significant statement. I want to talk to you as a friend. Because it's what Jesus did. And he referred to that even to his disciples. And, he, and that, and I even want to kind of mention something about that, because we always say the disciples. I want to talk a little bit about that point, uh, too. But um, it is great to be among believers. It's great to be in the presence of people who love God and want more of God. Amen. I don't know about anybody else, but uh, my my only desire is to know as is get as much from God as I possibly can get. And in the process of getting things from God, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. And it doesn't mean that the way is going to be prepared to the point where it's so easy. As a matter of fact, we and Maybe you will not, but I make mistakes along the way. And I, I do find it difficult to figure out why God would still help me with the mess that I make of situations and things. And yet, at the same time, God chooses to help. Knowing that with all the mistakes that are made, it doesn't mean that I'm a hypocrite because I'm not a hypocrite. I'm just a human being that God chose to fill, but still I'm walking in the flesh. And upon walking in the flesh, I still make mistakes. <clears throat> That's a mystery even within itself. Uh, because to, to have God and still make mistakes. And when you do make mistakes, you look at everyone else as perfect. Because you don't hear the mistakes that they made. Right. It doesn't relate to the mistakes that you made. So as a result of it, you already are feeling imperfect because all you can understand are the mistakes that you made. And you don't have time to worry about everybody else's mistakes. You got enough to deal with yourself. That's why it's crazy to me how some people can have five and six wives and four and five, two and three and four wives, I mean, I would think one would be enough to deal with. You know, that, that, that some, that all the other stuff. I mean, to me, it would make sense. And even from talking to people, I'm thinking to myself, good grace, I mean, she's going to wear you out. I can't say that in counseling. But I'm thinking, you know, one is enough. you talking about leaving her and going and somebody else, you know what I'm saying? You gotta even figure out what's going on right here. But anyway, that's another story. So it, it, it's amazing, you know, how all these things happen. But yet, God has given His people a purpose. I'm dealing with John right now. I'm just talking to you in general, because those are the things I wrote on the paper. Then the rest of the stuff I got to get by revelation. And so, uh, it, it, I think that I believe that God. For his people. And God has a purpose for those whom he calls to speak the word of God. And you speak it in season. And you speak it out of season. And you speak as an oracle of God. And you speak not what you want to hear or what you think the people want to hear. But you speak what God gives you to say. And upon speaking what God gives you to say, um, it's not to excite the people. You know, it amazes me some folks preach to get the people excited because it appears that excitement means you preaching now and preaching and excitement those two are not connected <laughs> they're not connected if you feel excitement and feel something it's because obviously spiritually there must be a connection between the word that's spoken and the word that is in you, which is the Spirit of God. God is a spirit. So you got the Word in you. At least that's what I thought. So anyway, so when the Word is spoken and you feel it, it means that to me,
feet that God is connecting with his word. Right. And you ought to feel what you preach. Right. Yeah. I don't know about anybody else. And I wasn't here to tell that story. Yes. But when I have this little opportunity, I feel what I'm talking about. Yes. When I think that, that everything that God allows me to go through, I have a right to feel what I'm talking about. Yes. And when I feel it, it's because, not because I'm saying it, but I'm feeling to a 
a giraffe, you have to see from the eye as a giraffe sees. A giraffe and a turtle have the same space. Hear me now. A giraffe and a turtle has the same space. The giraffe, with his purpose, eats from the treetops. But the turtle, who is in the same space, eats from the ground and eats from the grass. Now, if the turtle begins to mock the giraffe, because the turtle might be jealous or upset or start foolishness and craziness, it's all right. Because the turtle is only doing it from its line of vision. It's not seeing what the giraffe is seeing. It's only seeing as far as it can see. Now, the giraffe will get in trouble because within the giraffe, the giraffe has a heart that weighs up to 25 pounds. And the heart beats. So when the heart beats within a giraffe, it pumps the blood through the neck of the giraffe. And it goes up to the head. That's how come the giraffe can keep the head with the vertebrae, can keep the head straight as the heart is pumping it up. Now, when the giraffe lowers his, when the giraffe lowers his head, if the giraffe lowers his head too long, it becomes dizzy. So the, the place that God wants you is not at a lower level. God wants you to remain at the level where you can see from the top. But the enemy then will take <coughs> the people of God and put foolishness in them to keep them at a lower level. And as a lower level then we become, as the scripture says, as a man thinker, that's just the way he is. Yeah. Feeling. 
know I'm going to get the doctrine of Trump. <laughs> but the scriptures that you read, uh, right there in John chapter 15, are not even the beginning of the story. That's right. That's right. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of pick it up by reference All right. before this even took place. Yeah. Because what you read according to the scripture, Chapter 15, Jesus said, I am the true vine, yes. and my father is the husband man. Yeah. Actually, the events that took place are at least almost a week before. All right. A week before, Jesus, who is God Almighty, yes, he is. took a dead man yes, he did. Mm -hmm. yeah. who was in the tombs and prayed, yeah. stinking. Jesus now 